Hi guys, so welcome to week 29. Uh, this week I've stepped completely out of my comfort zone and we're going to try some K-pop songs. Uh, so do check out all the videos, especially if you're a K-pop fan. Um, I'm very new to K-pop, so I, I know the names of a few bands and that's about it. So we're going to have a go at a song called You Calling My Name by a band called Got7. I hope I've got that right. Uh, apologies to anybody um, if I have got that wrong. Okay, so um, I'm going to play through the chords for you first of all. With these chords, there's only four chords to the song. Like quite a few of the songs um, we were, well, I've been listening to when I was sort of deciding which songs to, to, uh, to check out with you. They all sound great. Um, but these, these songs, uh, these chords are just going to be strummed once. All right, so I'm not going to make you do tons of strumming patterns. You can do that if you want to after you've learned them. So I'll play through the parts for you first and then show you what to do. Okay, so uh, as you can see, there's not much to it. Um, although I do really like the songs and I do actually think the chords are really nice. In loads of the K-pop songs I've listened to, they do use nice chords. So um, we're gonna use a G minor to start with. So we're gonna do this as a bar chord. So I'd like you to bar your third fret with your first finger, then put your third finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, your little finger on the fifth fret, fourth string, and we're going to strum from the sixth string down like this. Okay. I'm kind of holding it for four beats like this. So one, two, three, four. Okay, then we're going to go to an E flat major seven. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. The way that I've chosen means that you don't have to move your hand too much. So what we're going to do is put our little finger on the sixth fret, fifth string, Move your third finger to the fifth fret, fourth string, then move your bar one string down. Okay, so you're barring the third fret still with your first finger, but you've moved it down to the fifth string downwards. Your third finger is on the fifth fret, fourth string, and your fourth finger, your little finger, is on the sixth fret, fifth string. And we're strumming that from the fifth string down. Okay, that's an E flat major seven. So we've gone G minor, two, three, four, E flat major seven, two, three, four. Okay, these kind of these chords all link into each other really well. So now we're going to a C minor seven. So you still keep your first finger barring that third fret, fifth string down. Take your little finger off, keep your third finger on the fifth fret, fourth string, and your middle finger wants to go on the fourth fret, second string. Strumming this from the fifth string down, and that's a C minor seven. Okay, really nice chord. So we end up with this so far. We've got G minor, E flat major seven, C minor seven. Okay, you are gonna feel that probably in your thumb about here and maybe your wrist as well, um, because we're barring for such a long time. Okay, in fact, the whole song is barred, okay? So, in a way, even though I'm not making you do tons with the chords, the chords themselves are slightly challenging in that your hands will ache a little bit once you've done this. Okay, so, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to a D7. Now we're gonna do this by barring your fifth fret from the fifth string down. And put your third finger on the seventh fret, fourth string, and your little finger on the seventh fret, second string. We're going to strum this from the fifth string down. That's a D7 chord. Okay, so I would practice going from C minor 7 to D7. So, two, 
three, four, and back. Two, three, four. Okay, so the entire the entire chord sequence goes like this. So G minor, two, three, four, E flat major seven, two, three, four, C minor seven, two, three, four, D seven, and again. Okay, so uh, as I've done with another one of my videos uh, from today's session, I'd like to play along, I'd like us to play along together. So I'm gonna slow, slow down what we've just done and uh, maybe we can have a go at playing it together. Obviously, at this point, I'd pause the video and practice those chords before we start to have a go at playing it together. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna go at this kind of tempo. Two, three, Four, then the next chord. Two, three, four, then the next one. Three, four. Okay, let's try it together. Here we go. So G minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E flat major seven. Two, three, four. C minor seven. Two, three. Four D seven and again two three four two three four two three four two three and again two three four two three four Two, three, four, two, three, and again. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, D seven, two, three, four. Okay, so obviously I slowed that down. Uh, what I would do next is have a listen to the play along video, watch the play along video, see how fast I'm playing, just so you get a rough idea of you know what the speed you're gonna to need to play at in, in order to play along to the track. So have a go at what we've just done. Do, do try and force yourself to use the same fingers that I've asked you to use. Um, the way that I've done that means that the, the uh, chords do link into each other a bit more smoothly. And uh, when you're ready, come and join me in the play along. All right, have fun guys.